But one day, I heard the Lord say this phrase. He said, don't be average and your life won't be average. Don't be average and your life won't be average. Emphasis on the understood you. You don't be average and your life won't be average. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. <laughs> I know, it's deep. <laughs> I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I want to talk to you about the habits that will help you get your life organized and change your life because they drastically change mine. And it's going to help you use the days of your life to live your dreams. Let me explain. So in my life, you may have heard the stories of how I got pregnant before marriage my last semester of college at Texas Tech University. I was so ashamed, filled with guilt, wanted to run away, felt like the biggest disgrace of the Savelle family. I was laying in my apartment in Lubbock, Texas, scribbling in my journal, I want to die. Because I was so ashamed of myself. I was afraid I was going to ruin my dad's ministry. In fact, I told my roommate, Teresa, I said, I can't bear to tell my parents what I've done. I'm just gonna run away. I said, I'm just gonna head west. Teresa said, no, you're not. You don't even know which way is west. <laughs> she said, we're gonna get through this, which is true. But long story short, three weeks after I found out I was pregnant, I got married. I borrowed my sister's wedding dress. My dad and Kenneth Copeland performed the wedding. I was so humiliated and just filled with shame. I literally walked down the aisle with my head down. And then three weeks after the wedding, I lost the baby. Long story short, I graduated from Texas Tech that horrible semester, moved to Fort Worth, started working for my dad, and for the next 11 years, 11, my life was on autopilot. I woke up at the last minute to go to work. I listened to music and I would dance all the way to the office, work all day, listen to music all the way home, get home, turn on the TV and just watch it for hours and do it again the next day. For more than a decade, everything about my life was average. I paid my car note every month, my credit cards every month. I lived paycheck to paycheck. I had nothing saved, nothing invested for 11 years. Well, after 11 years of this, my life hit an all-time low. My marriage was falling apart. I was falling apart. I had no vision, no money. I was just miserable. So my husband and I separated for three months and I was so sad, depressed, lonely, confused. And I was a ghostwriter from my dad at the time. And my dad said to me, he said, until you get things together, why don't you just work from home for a little while? Because he could see I was a mess. I thought, work from home, but I'm sad. I'm lonely. I need to be around people. Turned out to be the greatest thing he could have ever told me to do. So I dropped my little girl off at kindergarten, walked into my empty, silent house, looked around and seriously just thought, what do I do? I need vision, I need wisdom, direction, I need help. I was miserable. So I grabbed a journal and a pen and I just sat there. Here's my handy pen. I just sat there and I listened and I wondered if God would even speak to me. And if he did, would he say something like, I will smite thee with my nostrils? <laughs> I didn't know. I knew God would talk to my dad, but I didn't know if he'd talk to me. But one day I heard the Lord say this phrase. He said, don't be average and your life won't be average. Don't be average and your life won't be average. Emphasis on the understood you. You don't be average and your life won't be average. So I started looking at the habits in my life that had led me to this mess. And what would happen if I started doing the opposite? So I did. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Now, it's amazing that people today will call our office. Some of them are famous people, reputable people, people with large ministries and businesses saying, how are you doing this? How did you launch a TV broadcast? How did you get so many subscribers on YouTube and you're not even a pastor of a church? Or how do you have your books translated in foreign languages? Do you want to know how I prepared, got ready to do what God has called me to do to go after my dreams? Where it all started, by changing my habits and getting my life organized. You know, the Bible tells us that life 
is a vapor, right? That's it. The Bible says it's a mist, it's a breath, it's a wisp of smoke. So that's me. That's my husband, Rodney. That's my daughter, Cassidy. That's Kenneth Copeland. <laughs> but life is a vapor. In other words, it's here today, gone tomorrow. Well, I see this as a gentle reminder. We don't have time to waste. You know, recently I was dozing off to sleep one night and I just heard the Lord say, it's about time. Emphasis on that word time. In other words, you don't have time to waste. Well, today I want to create a sense of urgency in you to get things organized in your life, to get your habits in order so you can do everything God has put in your heart to do. Does that sound good? You know, the Apostle Paul said, the most important thing is that I complete my mission, the work the Lord Jesus gave me. In other words, you have an assignment from God. So the Lord said, it's about time. And then I heard it differently. It's about time. You know, have you ever gotten so frustrated with someone who's late and you say sarcastically, it's about time. I heard that in my spirit. It's about time you got serious about your dreams, your purpose, your assignment. It's about time you got adamant about restoration in your life, that you stop procrastinating. It's about time you stop waiting for everything to be perfect, for people to cheer you on and tell you your dreams aren't crazy. It's about time you start building your faith in God's word to you and build your confidence in yourself. And you know, unfortunately, sometimes it takes hitting an all-time low or rock bottom to get that wake-up call to change. And that's what happened to me when my husband and I separated and I found myself just wondering, what am I doing with my life? You know, maybe you feel like me or in the book of Isaiah, he wrote, I have labored to no purpose. I've spent my strength in vain and for nothing. Job said, my life drags by day after hopeless day. He said, I give up. I'm tired of living. Leave me alone. <laughs> that sounds like my old journal, okay? But James Alberty, he said, he made this poem. It said, I, he slept beneath the moon. He basked beneath the sun. He lived a life of going to do and died with nothing done. I'm telling you today, that's not gonna be your story. You are watching this by divine appointment. Why? Because it's about time. So I'm gonna walk you through the five habits you need to develop if you're gonna fulfill your assignment and make the most of your time. You ready? Where do you start? Habit number one, I found out that successful people are planners. You remember the old phrase that failing to plan is planning to fail? God is such a planner. He's the master planner. In fact, did you know that the very center of the Bible is Psalms 118? The longest chapter of the Bible, it falls right after it, Psalm 119. The shortest chapter of the Bible is 117. Now get this. There are 594 chapters before Psalm 118 and after Psalm 118. When you add the number of chapters, 594 plus 594, guess what it is? 1,188. And the very center of the Bible, the center verse, is Psalm 118, 8. He planned everything down to the last detail. And he expects us to be planners. Proverbs 16, 3 says, commit your works to the Lord and your plans will succeed. And first, it feels great to get all that stuff out of your head and onto paper. It's one of the best things you can do to relieve stress and overwhelm. And second, it's motivating to check things off. You know, Mary Kay of the cosmetic company, she attributed her success to the fact that every single day, she wrote down her six most important things for the day. Whatever she didn't finish, she carried over to the next day. That's what she attributes her success to, having a planner and writing down her daily to-do list. We can do this, can't we? You know, a recent study found that if you just spend five minutes writing your to-do list the night before, it leads to more peaceful sleep. So never go to bed without planning the next day. And I found this out. Successful people have one planner. You have one life, you need one planner. So this alone is gonna help you feel organized and in control of your life. So I started planning every day, never going to sleep without planning it. Here's the thing, what gets scheduled gets done. Even if it's do laundry, pay bills, clean out the fridge, rest, schedule it. Okay, the second habit I found out, number two, is successful people beat the sun up. They get up early. And you might be like, why? To invest in themselves. 
You know, research shows that successful people get up earlier than those who are struggling in life. I call it practicing mind over mattress. <laughs> they conquer the covers, right? And you, again, you're going, why? What is the point? It's simply to invest in themselves. I found out 44% of the wealthiest people in the world, they get up early to read, to journal, to pray and meditate. They're very intentional about their morning routines. You know, Alexander Graham Bell said, before anything else, preparation is the key to success. And preparation takes place behind the scenes, mostly in the morning hours with nobody watching. But preparation is revealed in our daily habits. I remember hearing someone say, God prepares us privately before he can use us publicly. So I started doing what I heard successful people do. They get up early. This is where everything changed. This is where real growth began to take place in me. In fact, this is where God transformed my life and prepared me to do what I'm doing today. So one of my morning habits became listening to faith building messages. You know, have you ever noticed in boxing, they have the, the foxer, the foxer, the boxer, he always has a corner man in the ring. And what's he doing? He's keeping that fighter focused. He's speaking life into him. He's refreshing him and telling him, you got what it takes to win this thing. Well, you absolutely must have somebody coaching you and speaking into your life. You know, you may have heard that term success coach. Sometimes people introduce me as a success coach. Well, I found out that word coach came from long time ago, the horse-drawn coaches that were used to transport royalty and valuables across town. Well, a coach still remains something or someone who carries a valued person from where they are to where you wanna be, to your destination, right? You need your very own coach. You need someone helping you grow, improve, increase, enlarge. So, hey, maybe you're ministered to by this broadcast. I encourage you to become a partner with us so you can get consistent coaching. But that is one of the number one habits of successful people. Just push play and get someone speaking into your life. Now, when we come back, I'm gonna share three more habits that I'm telling you will help you get organized and live your dreams. I'll be right back. Have you been stuck in a rut and are ready for change? Maybe you sit down at the end of the day and wonder, what did I accomplish? Well, it's time to get organized and create an effective plan for the big dreams and goals God has placed in your heart. With Terry's new My Dream Routine Planner, you'll be able to easily create clear, daily, weekly and monthly action plans to live on purpose and reach your goals. Inside this practical 90-day planner, you can keep track of your daily personal growth habits, as well as journal your time with the Lord and your gratitude, plan your days, review your goals, speak positive declarations, and so much more. Hurry over to terry.com or call the number on the screen to order now at this special price. Get ready to accomplish more, stay focused, and pave your clear-cut way to success. Don't delay. Call the number on the screen or go to terry.com today. This is my last week to offer my dream routine planner at this special price. Now, I know you're gonna love this custom design organizer as much as I do. I had this custom made based on the habits that God began to develop in my life. You know, there's a section for you to write your dreams and goals. And research supports staying between seven to 10 goals for the year. So there's a spot for you to add a photo of what you're believing God for and then when it manifests. And I'm telling you, this will be such a faith booster because when you look back over the year and you just see one after another of your goals and your dreams achieved, it just inspires you to keep setting bigger goals. Also, it was proven in goal setting, the number one reason goals go unachieved is because they're out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind, right? They say, keep your goals out of reach, but never out of sight. Well, that's why I put them in the daily planner because every single day you can look at them. You can speak to them. You can do what God's word says in Romans. Call those things that be not as though they already are. And then move on about your day. There's a place for you to write your own positive declarations. These are some of my favorite features. I added some of my favorite ones to get you started. And I'll explain in a minute how powerful your words are in creating the outcome in your life. Bottom line, if you will change what you're saying, you'll change what you're seeing, right? And then this is one of my favorite things too, because it changed my life. 
I added to your daily schedule a place to journal your quiet time with God. What is he speaking to your spirit? I'm telling you, this habit alone is the most important and life-changing habit I have ever learned. If you choose just one, this is the one that will give you direction, wisdom, solutions, ideas that will drastically improve your life. Plus, there's a place to journal your gratitude, and I'm going to explain in a second how important that is. But this is your life organized in one planner. So I know you're going to love it. Just call the number on the screen or go to terry.com and we will ship it out directly to you. Okay, back to our message. I also found out habit number three, successful people write their dreams and goals. You've probably heard me tell the story of the professor at Virginia Tech who just walked up to random people and asked them, what are your goals for life? He said 80% said, I don't have any goals. 80%. 16% said, I have some goals, but I've never written them down. 3% said, I've written my goals at some point, but I don't know where they are. 1% said, I have goals, I've written them down, and I review them on a consistent basis. He said, do you know who the 1% were? Millionaires. Every one of them were millionaires. And this came from the Bible. God's the one who said in Habakkuk 2, 2, write the vision, make it plain. Why? So you can run when you read it. Well, I discovered 97% of adult Americans are trying to live their lives without clear written goals. Jim Rohn said setting goals is a habit that altered his life forever. In fact, he said when he was struggling in life, he said he had pennies in his pocket, nothing in the bank. He was blaming everybody for where he was in life. And he said this wealthy man began to mentor him and change his habits. One day the guy said to him, Jim, let me see your current list of goals. Let's go over them. He said, I think I can give you some ideas. Jim said, I don't have it. He said, is it out in the car or something? Go get it. Jim said, no, I don't have a list of goals at all. The wealthy man said, well, if you don't have a list of your goals, I bet I can guess your bank balance within a few hundred dollars, which he did. And that got Jim's attention. He said, you mean my bank balance would be bigger if I learned to set goals? He said, drastically bigger. Within five years, Jim Rohn was a millionaire. Well, Mark Twain is the one who said, I can teach anybody how to get what they want in life. Problem is, I can't find anybody who can tell me what they truly want. Well, I would hear things like that and think, I can do this. So I grabbed a journal and started writing my goals. And in the beginning, it was like clean the kitchen, clean the master bedroom, pay off the MasterCard, $4,000, save $1,000. But I began to check them off, which led to bigger goals like write a book see my books at Barnes & Noble, speak at events with John Maxwell. When I started practicing what God said to do, write the vision, make it plain. You know what? My dreams started manifesting before my eyes. When the vision is clear, the results will appear, right? Okay, then I began to learn habit number four, successful people are grateful. You've probably heard that if you complain, you will attract more to complain about. But if you're grateful, you will attract more to be grateful for, right? Well, when my life was falling apart, I had to stop looking at everything I had lost and look at what I had left and start thanking God for what I had left. And I would walk around my kitchen at 11 o'clock at night with tears pouring down my face. This is when my husband and I were separated. I was miserable. And I would think, okay, be grateful. And I would lift my hands and think, okay, Lord, I thank you that I have a house. Lord, I thank you that I still have a job. Lord, thank you for that little redheaded girl sleeping in her bed. I prayed for that baby. Thank you, Lord. And I would feel the heaviness lift off of me every single time I would do that, and peace would come on me. Again, this was a principle I began during that season of life when my marriage was falling apart, had no money, no dreams, no ambition, but I was learning that praise is a weapon against Satan. Gratitude for what you do have is a weapon against the devil, and it's a key to walking right into the presence of God. I also discovered that if you want to stop progress in your life, use your mouth to complain. Nothing will delay your dreams more than complaining. You've probably heard Joyce Meyer say, complain and you'll remain. In fact, there was a businessman named David Horsiger who was asked about his key to success. He said, 18 years ago, my mentor asked me to make a 30-day commitment to stop complaining. Don't complain about the weather, the traffic, how tired you are, how hungry you are, how you slept last night. Don't complain about the line at the grocery store. You're hungry. Not one word of complaint out of your mouth for 30 days. 
He said it changed the whole trajectory of my life. He's now a best-selling author. His clients are the New York Yankee, Yankees, <laughs> Wells Fargo. He's very successful. Well, God is the one who gave us these success clues in his word. He said, enter his gates with thanksgiving. So I started journaling my gratitude every morning, which there's a place for you every single morning to journal what you're grateful for, to just make it a way of life, a habit. In fact, I found out that psychology researchers have stumbled upon this biblical secret to success. Listen to what they found. When you journal your gratitude, you sleep better, you have fewer symptoms of illness, you're happier, less anxiety and depression than those who, you know, complain. It came from God's word. God said in everything, give thanks. He said, be thankful and say so. Don't just think so, say it, express it, write it. That's why I added this little section to your dream routine planner. So you just get into a habit of magnifying what God is doing in your life instead of focusing on what's not happening. So here's my challenge. Don't complain for 30 days and journal your gratitude for 30 days and watch what will happen. Now, the last habit I want to share real quick that will prepare, propel your life to a new level is this. If you want to know where your life is headed, listen to the words coming out of your mouth. Habit number five, successful people make positive declarations. You know, you may have heard me tell this story. It's a famous experiment about um, the power of words performed by Dr. Emoto using water over cooked rice. Now, Dr. Emoto used three different containers with three different labels for each one. He filled each container with cooked rice and then he labeled them. One was labeled, thank you. One was labeled, you're an idiot. <laughs> and then the third one was just unlabeled. Every day for 30 days, a solid month, Dr. Emoto would speak to the container based on the label. He spoke pleasant, affirming words to the rice labeled, thank you. He spoke harsh, demeaning words to the you're an idiot jar. And then to the third jar, he just ignored it altogether. After 30 days of consistent treatment, the thank you rice began to ferment, look appealing, and give off a strong, pleasant aroma. The you're an idiot rice turned mostly black and mushy, giving off a sour milk aroma. And then the neglected rice just began to rot and mold altogether. Isn't this crazy? Well, since then, scientists, college students, homeschoolers, they duplicated the experiment and got the same or similar results, proving how powerful your words are in producing the outcome in your life. Here's my point. Your words are carriers of life and death. If rice can be affected by positive and negative words, as well as total neglect, how much more can your circumstances be dramatically affected by your words? So... I made a list of positive declarations that I would just make myself speak. I would walk around the kitchen declaring, I'm confident, I'm courageous, I'm qualified by God, I'm sensitive to God's voice, I attract God-inspired ideas that produce millions of dollars, I speak at the largest conferences in the world, I'm confident to speak on television, I'm an expert in the message God has given me to share. I would say, my gift is making room for me and bringing me before great men and women. I remember the first time I was invited to do an interview on TBN and before they went live, they're telling me where to sit. And they said, Terry, you sit right here in the expert chair. I thought, expert? What am I an expert in? And then it dawned on me, oh my goodness, I've been declaring I'm an expert in the message God has given me to share. I thought, it's happening. <laughs> well, if you want to know where your life is headed, listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. So that's why I provide these tools for you, because this is my life in a planner to show you that if you will do this, you can have the results God wants you to have. This is how it all began for me. One day, one page at a time, one habit at a time. So this is our last week to offer my dream routine planner at this special price. It's normally $49, but we reduced it to $39. We can do this, can't we? I'm telling you, each time you walk around your kitchen and you make your declarations when really you'd rather cry and complain and call your friends, you are preparing for a breakthrough. Every morning you sit by yourself with your daily planner and you just start writing what you're grateful for when really you have reason to be upset. 
you're preparing for a major promotion. So I, I love the scripture that says, your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you in the open. The secret of your future is in your daily routine. So I wanna challenge you, get organized, get things together, show God that you're preparing for your breakthrough. I want you to have this organizer to help you feel in control of your life again, to plan, to prepare, to get things in order. So all you have to do is call the number on the screen or go online to terry.com and we will ship this directly to you. Um, you can choose the color black, pink, or turquoise while supplies last, but I know this is gonna be such a tool to help you just feel, I have a plan. I remember a counselor said to me one time, fight fear with a plan. This is gonna help you get organized. So call the number on the screen, go to terry.com and we will get it to you today. So well, we'll ship it today. You may not get it today, but we'll ship it to you. So I believe you've watched this by divine appointment because God's telling you, Stop feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. Let's get organized. Let's get a plan. Let's get things in order because order brings overflow. I'm so grateful you were with me today by this divine appointment. I can't wait to hear what God's gonna do in your life. Thanks for watching. Have you been stuck in a rut and are ready for change? Maybe you sit down at the end of the day and wonder, what did I accomplish? Well, it's time to get organized and create an effective plan for the big dreams and goals God has placed in your heart. With Terry's new My Dream Routine Planner, you'll be able to easily create clear, daily, weekly, and monthly action plans to live on purpose and reach your goals. Inside this practical 90-day planner, you can keep track of your daily personal growth habits, as well as journal your time with the Lord and your gratitude, plan your days, review your goals, speak positive declarations, and so much more. Hurry over to terry.com or call the number on the screen to order now at this special price. Get ready to accomplish more, stay focused, and pave your clear-cut way to success. Don't delay. Call the number on the screen or go to terry.com today. I want to ask you to help me with something very important. At our ministry, we are committed to many outreaches, but something that is so close to my heart is the work we do rescuing women out of human trafficking. You may not know my story, but after I was violated as a young girl and dealt with horrible insecurities and deep shame, I made it my mission to help young women. So each year we provide funds for local safe houses to give shelter and resources to young women. Not only that, but we've actually gone into clubs in some of the roughest parts of America where exotic dancers are actually being trafficked. And I'm telling you, going into these dark places, it pushes me out of my comfort zone. But when I look these precious girls in the eyes and tell them face to face how valuable they are to God, it impacts their life and mine. Well, all of this is possible because of our amazing monthly partners. Would you become a monthly partner with our ministry and help me fight against this demonic attack on young girls? Visit terry.com partner or call the number on the screen today.